Now, if you remember my previous video, setting up sway and foot on Wayland, it didn't end particularly well. Well, I got everything technically working, but not the way I would like it. And obviously this is a project, you know, this isn't going to happen overnight, but it made me think, let's see if we can finally set the background on the foot terminal. Yes, I know a terminal that is called foot. What is it with Linux and naming things? I don't know. So anyway, let's just sort of get into this and uh, let's see where I left off the last time. And let's have a look. So as you can see, this is the foot terminal. Um, it has this sort of gray background, which I'm kind of, kind of um, getting used to. Um, but uh, let's be honest about it, I can't use this. Um, there's still a few things we need to do. So let's. the main thing is let's see if we can get this horrible background really and have a nice all black background. It's not that bad, I'll be honest. But let's get into configuring foot now, okay? So if I go onto the Arch Wiki, as you can see, it does the usual spiel what foot is. It's a lightweight, minimalistic, Wayland terminal emulator, fine. This is how to install it. Now, if you want to install this uh, and sway, obviously look at my previous videos and that will show you how to do it or just follow the Arch Wiki. Um, but what we're interested in today is the configuration. So there's a couple of things we need to do. Um, first, we need to set the uh, XGD, XDG config home variable. So, um, uh, I've actually already set it, but so if you do xdg, let's make this a bit bigger, underscore uh, home, of course make sure you put the dollar before, because it's a variable, because it won't show up otherwise, uh, I think that's right, uh, config, config, <sighs> dear oh dear, oh, maybe it's not set. Let's do uh, XDG. Okay, so as you can see, um, we need to set it. So I thought I'd set it, maybe maybe not. So exports, and uh, we wanna do XDG, which makes it a bit bigger. So config, so this is setting the, like, the environment variable, um, and then it's home, okay? So if I go back here, um, yeah, so we need to set it there and then it's got to be equals to ooh, American keyboards. Now I still need to sort this out. Um, and we want to set it to, um, X, D, G, E, oh no, we want to set it to home, sorry. We want to set it to home. Um, let's take this out. It's not a variable yet. And set to home um, uh, dot, dot slash dot config. Um, I think that's right. Oh, make sure you um, close the quote. Make sure you close the quote. Shambles. There we go. So uh, if I do um, xdg config home. As you can see, I can use that environment variable and obviously this is what the configuration is going to use. So there we go. Um, right, so what do we want to do? We want to copy the configuration file found in e etc and put it into um, our config. So um, we need to make a, a foot directory. I've already got it here, so I'm just going to rmdir foot Okay, and then so what you do is you do mkdir foot, there you go. Now you've got foot as a directory. Obviously xdg is going to, um, you know, take the path variable, uh, take the environment variable, whatever. So let's now, let's copy this. So we want to do sudo cp etc as xdg. XDG, maybe we should make it seem bigger. 
XDG, um, that's right. And then foot, and then foot any, and then we want, um, I'm just gonna do the full variable. I guess I could do XDG, I guess. Config, uh, and then foot, um, yeah, just call it foot any, I think that's right. So if I do cd.config foot, there we go. Okay, right, so that template is now in there. So it's saying uncomment the settings or setting you want to change, restart foot to apply the new setting. So we're going to look at the um, foot.ini configuration file. It does say here about like setting a theme, but I'm not interested in theming. I just want my background right so let's um oh yeah one last thing mindset as root i don't know if that matters but we're, we're gonna we're gonna set it as my home directory because i'm in my home directory i hope this is the right way to do it whatever so of course we need to do sudo because it's a um a root file so sudo chone or chone and then we want to put in youtube james youtube James, so uh, I want to set the user and the group, and then uh, on the foot dot any. Put my password. Uh, okay. So then, if I do ls lha, yeah, as you can see, it's now set. Oh, then okay. So let's just have a look. So starting from the top. Um, so shell equals shell. Well, I want it to be set as my shell, which I guess is bash. Um, term equals foot. Yeah, we don't want to log in shell, no. Um, okay, let's set the font. So it's quite small at the moment. Let's try uh, 20. Uh, do I want bold? No, no. So most of this stuff I don't want. Let's go down. Um, what else have we got here? Resize by, no. Initial window mode windowed. Uh, no, 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 no. Name very, very, environment name equals very, whatever. Belt, certainly don't want no visual belts. One nice thing I would say about the default config is there is no settings in it. Unlike, um, what is it? X, well, not X term necessarily, but um, I three, um, you know, def I don't really like their defaults so much, as you know. So I kind of like the way foot. I know the foot's the terminal emulator, a uh, terminal emulator, but I kind of like, kind of like what they're doing here. You know, I'm going to balance it like no, don't balance it like that. Okay. Um, Nothing really here is standing out to me. Certainly don't want desktop notifications. Scroll back. Okay, let's have scroll back. 1,000 lines. I guess I could change that more. Uh, multiplier, whatever. Um, URL, so you've got like XDG open. If you know what XDG open is, you can put in XDG open and a file and it will use like a default. Um, but I'm not worried about that right now. Not worried about the cursor. Uh, certainly not worried about the mouse, as you know. Um, not worried about the, the press delay, whatever, colours. Okay, colours, here we go. So, background, what I really want is, um, I want, I want what is it, eight zeros, is it? So they have got normal, regular colours here. So black is like two, four, two, four, two, four. I'm just going to go zero, 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 zero. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. Hopefully that will work. So that's that's basically black, okay. Dimmed colors, no. Uh, Two fifty six color palette, whatever. Not fast. Um, certain. I would worry about doing inverse foreground because, like X term, it it does does messes up. I find. CSD. I don't even know what CSD is. Anybody in the comments could put what CSD is. I don't know. I don't know. Key bindings. Okay, so some key bindings here. I don't know if Sway handles some of this stuff. I guess not. So scroll back up 
shift page up, scroll back half, none, down. Yeah, so we want we want scroll back. I mean, if this was Linus Torvalds, it would be removed, right? If you've seen my previous video, you understand what I'm saying. Full screen, well, I don't need to worry about full screen because uh, super key F does full screen, like so. Um, pipe scroll back. Okay, so there's some nice stuff here. I guess you can pipe. I don't know, not sure. I'd have to look into that. Search bindings, mm, okay. Not fuss, URL bindings, not fuss, not fuss. Certainly not fuss about mouse bindings. I don't use a mouse. Okay, let's try that. Um, obviously this title thing I need to get rid of. That's probably gonna be its own thing. Maybe a similar thing like um, i3 and Xterm. Uh, well, i3 certainly to get rid of that. But okay, let's uh, peak hill sway. Let's start up Sway again. Ooh. Okay, has that not done it? Let's um, let's come out of that. Okay, let's try going back in. All right, let's set font um, to one three two D. Let's uh, go into Vim. Config foot. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the top. Oh, that looks all alright. Nano space. Oh, no. 16. Term equals foot. Yeah. That looks good. So, why is that not? Um, lines looks fine. Background, maybe I need to set foreground as well. I don't know. Uh, two fifty six color palette. I don't know. Did the key bindings break it. I don't know. Let's try that. Okay, let's try that. Anything else? Let's see. This way. Nothing. No. Okay, try something else. Uh, try something else. So why is that not doing it? Um, No. My foot. Okay. What's going on? So default shell term. Yeah. Okay. Background, foreground, that should be right. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Maybe it's a shell. Try that. Okay, I don't know. Something to do with the shell, some strange thing there. But we've got a black background, we've got bigger text. We can still 
make it bigger. That's something. That's something. It's not great, but right. but we we can look into this in a future video. I'm not fussed. So there we go. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. We now got background sorted. Um, and uh, there we go. Um, still annoys me. It's called foot, but whatever. So um, there we go. We'll leave that for now. Um, another step on the Wayland Sway foot journey. So um, you want to do do your uh, fake YouTube like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll, we will leave that for now. We will leave that for now.